This skill is designed to evaluate your ability to provide spinal immobilization to a supine patient using a long spine immobilization device. You arrive on scene with an EMT assistant. The assistant EMT has completed the scene survey as well as the primary assessment and no critical conditions requiring any interventions were found. For the purpose of this evaluation, the simulated patient's vital signs will remain stable. You are required to treat the specific isolated problem of a suspected unstable spine using a long spine immobilization device. When moving the simulated patient to the device, you should use the help of the assistant EMT and myself. The assistant EMT should control the head and cervical spine of the simulated patient while you and I move the simulated patient to the immobilization device. You are responsible for the directions and subsequent actions of the EMT assistant and myself. You may use any equipment available in this room. You have 10 minutes to complete this skill station. Do you have any questions? No. You may begin. Okay, putting on my proper PPE. Is my scene safe? Your scene is safe. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to direct an EMT assistant to hold manual stabilization of the patient's head and neck, keeping it in a good neutral inline position. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to check CSM in all four extremities. That's going to be our circulation, sensation, and motor function. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check for those radial pulses. Present and equal bilaterally. Okay, and patient, can you squeeze my fingers for me? Perfect. And which finger am I touching? Winter. And which finger am I touching? Pinky. Alrighty, down to the lower extremities, we would take off the shoes, and we're going to check for those pedal pulses. Present and equal bilaterally. Okay, patient, can you go ahead and pull up on my hands for me and go ahead and push down? And can you tell me which foot I'm touching? Right. And which foot am I touching? Alrighty. Now that we've checked CSM in all extremities, we're going to go ahead and size and fit an appropriate C collar. So to size, we're going to go ahead and take our fingers. We're going to measure it from the patient's angle of their jaw to the top of their shoulder. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to have my EMT assistant slightly lift up the head and neck, keeping in that neutral inline position. Okay, making sure our seat collar is nice and in place. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to call a second EMT assistant in and we're going to go ahead and do the log roll. Patient, if you could go ahead and cross your arms over your chest for me. Alrighty, with my second EMT assistant, we are going to go ahead and cross arms across the patient's body. And then on the head's count, we are going to go ahead and roll towards myself, which is going to be to the patient's left side. So we'll go ahead and get our hands in position. EMT assistant will go above mine and on the lower extremities. Heads count. Whenever you're ready, we're going to log roll. On three, one, two, three. Okay, so now I'm going to have my EMT assistant bring in the backboard for us, getting it nice and close, and we're going to get that held at a 45 degree angle. Now that we are ready, on the heads count, we're going to roll back onto the board. On three, one, two, three. Okay, so from this position, we're going to have to do a little bit of a Z drag to get in the, pa the patient a better position on the board. So on the heads count, we're going to go ahead and push down towards the board into the patient's right side. On three, one, two, three. Okay, and on the heads count, we're going to go straight up on the board to get back into position. On three, one, two, three. Okay, alrighty, and now I'm going to have my EMT assistant lift the bottom portion of that board for me so I can pull all the straps out. Okay, you can go ahead and set down the bottom of the board. Thank you, EMT assistant. All right, before we're going to go ahead and get the straps, I'm going to go ahead and make sure to pad any void areas. This is going to be under the patient's legs if necessary, focusing on that back and anything behind the head. So I would go ahead and pad those voids. Patient, if you can go ahead and put your arms out to a T for me. We're going to go ahead and start with our torso straps. So we have two X straps that are going across the patient's chest. So I'm going to go ahead and click them into place and I will tighten them once I get the other strap ready. Alrighty, patient, can you go ahead and take a deep breath in for me? Okay, go ahead and breathe out. Alrighty, I'm going to have you take one more deep breath. Alrighty, go ahead and breathe out for me. How are those straps? Still able to breathe okay? Yes. Alrighty, we're going to go ahead and move to that waist strap. Okay, go ahead and take a deep breath in for me. Okay, go ahead and breathe out normally. Doing okay with those straps? Yes. 
Alrighty, so now we're going to go ahead and secure the head. If you can just go ahead and cross across your chest for me. Thank you so much. All right, we're going to go ahead and start with the head pad. So I'm going to have my EMT assistant slightly lift the head, keeping in that neutral inline position for me. So just slightly lift that head so we can get this pad underneath. Okay. Alrighty, so now we're going to go ahead and get the head blocks into place. Alrighty, so if my EMT assistant can go ahead and remove your right hand slightly, I'll go ahead and place that block and then go ahead and hold that block into place. All right, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing with your left hand, so slightly remove. I will place the block and go ahead and hold that block for me. Alrighty, now we're going to go ahead and take the forehead strap, so we're going across the forehead. Go ahead and replace your hands with mine. Okay, go ahead and hold on those blocks again. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and take our two inch tape and we're going to go up underneath the chin to the top portion of the board. Go ahead and remove your hand, perfect. I'm gonna go up under the chin here. Okay, and we're gonna tape it to this other end of the board here. Already my EMT can now go, my EMT assistant can now go ahead and let go of the manual stabilization. Now that the head is fully secured, we're gonna go ahead and go down to the legs. Just going back to double check all of my straps, making that they're still sure, uh, making sure they're still nice and snug. Doing okay, patient? Yep. Alrighty, so now that we fully immobilize, we're gonna go ahead and reassess our CSM. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the upper extremities, checking for those uh, radial pulses. Pulses present equal bilaterally. Okay, patient, can you go ahead and squeeze, squeeze my fingers for me? Awesome. And can you tell me which finger I'm touching? Pointer. And which finger am I touching? Pinky. Alrighty, and then we're going down to those lower extremities, checking for those pedal pulses. Pulses are present and equal bilaterally. Patient, can you pull up on my hands for me? Go ahead and push down. And can you tell me which foot I'm touching? Left. And can you tell me which foot I'm touching? Right. Alrighty, and then just to extra ensure my patient's gonna keep her hands in this position, she can go ahead and hold onto those straps or just go ahead and keep those hands across her chest. And now at this point in time, we're gonna go ahead and get her loaded up and prepare for transport. Is there anything else you'd like to add? No.